Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have often asked me what my favorite peppers are and that is a very difficult question to answer because there are so many favorites of mine and each season I grow different ones so it's sort of like very difficult to pick but uh, because I have a few in my garden this year I'm going to show you my five favorites of the season. Uh, we'll start with the white tie and this variety is one of my favorite all-time variety and I grow it every single season and uh, I really love the way they taste I love the way they grow and they're just gorgeous and um, they're very productive as well so uh, that is one of the reason why I grow them all the time uh, for taste uh, for looks and how much they produce so here is the white tie variety here and as you can see they grow very very full uh, they have uh, beautiful leaves a little thicker than most of the other varieties and uh, they grow in cluster like these here so each of these is a is a cluster and each of those cluster will hold a bunch of fruits and uh, they'll grow from the bottom all the way to the top you see there bottom will have fruits and then they'll keep putting more shoots and then those new shoots will produce more fruits and the fruits are just beautiful you see they they uh, they start out this color you see these are the baby plants right here the baby fruits and they'll remain that color and then they'll turn whiter slightly white and then once they're ready to ripe they'll turn into an orange color right there and then from that orange color they'll finally ripen up to the red color and that is the the pattern so uh, when they get a lot of sun they'll get these blushes right here so they, they'll get some purple tint so they're just gorgeous peppers and uh, they taste great in a lot of the Asian cuisine. I love eating this raw, but I also love making side dishes and putting these in there. So they, they'll enhance basically anything you want to use them in. So that is the first one. And the second one here is the Linzo crossed with the Sangria. And this variety is just so amazing because they will grow in any size container and will produce a ton of pods for you to use so here I have a raised bed that is pretty big it's grown next to the white tie so it gets very large you see how it it goes from there all the way there so uh, it's like in a circle so very big and produce a ton of pods too so you see all of these flowers will become pods and they already produce pods at the bottom right there See, way down there so this pepper plant is pretty tall and uh, the leaves are a lot smaller than the white tie and uh, you can almost say that there are as many flowers as there are leaves so all of those are flowers and there are a ton of fruits already so uh, that is a big one and the more space you give it the larger they will get so uh, that is a big one so let me show you some of the other ones here is a smaller one that is grown in a five gallon pot and as you can see you see all of these fruits here and I have picked so many peppers off of this plant already and they keep producing more so as soon as you harvest the red ones more will come out and so they keep producing throughout the entire season so you get like hundreds and hundreds of of these beautiful tasty peppers not only that they look good but they also taste very good and they're very very spicy great flavor and uh, they're not very big so they're like almost bite size you can bite two bites and they're, they're gone so you, you eat a bunch of these at a time so this is the second one so as I mentioned this is a five gallon pot and let me show you a smaller uh, pot that I grew them in and they still produce okay so here is one that I grew in a found drink cup and I've gotten a lot of fruits off of this also I've been using a ton of them already and as I mentioned anytime you harvest the red ones or any of the peppers more will come out you see these are all the new ones here so all of those flowers will become new ones so just a small container like this this plant will produce enough peppers for your family alright and here I have a few more 
And these actually came out of cups also. Um, I had so many in a cup and they needed more space so I took them out. You see how small they are? And that one as well and then that one as well. So all those were in a small cup and then when they came out they started to grow again. So they're, they're producing nice amount of fruits just for a small plant. So these can be used as ornamental peppers because that's the initial purpose to breed this as ornamental plant that tastes good. Alright guys, the third favorite variety of mine is the Santaka. And this variety is very beautiful as well and it also grows in clusters. So each of these clusters will produce more shoots that will become clusters. And so you see here, look how many fruits there are in one cluster. So they'll start from the very bottom here. You see here, all of these here are clusters and clusters and all around and inside. <laughs> and then it'll grow clusters and then if you allow it more space it'll produce more clusters and it, it and so on and so on so that is a very productive beautiful variety and uh, it's not very hot but the flavor is good so if you don't like a lot of heat this is one you should grow okay and the fourth favorite variety of mine is the Linzo cross with the white tie so I always love the white tie, so I try to cross it with something else that would bring out more of the sweetness. And this is the variety that did that. So the fruits are gorgeous, you see here. So it's not uh, so much green, but it's almost like the lighter green color. And uh, see here's the baby fruit right there. And it will change into a lighter green. And then it will go into like an orange color. And then finally the red and it's also very very productive though i think it's just gorgeous the way it looks and uh, some fruits point upwards right here you see this and then some will point downwards and uh, they they taste amazing it's it's like a, a very tropical tasting uh, pepper that's that's kind of fruity and sweet and it's very spicy so it has a combination of of everything so this is a, a great variety and my absolute favorite this year all right last but not least is the serrano peppers and this is one of my also one of my favorite variety it's an, an amazing plant that produces a ton it also looks very pretty to me look at how lush and green it is and look at how it produces the fruits are like kind of hanging like that uh, very easy to harvest you could come by and pull it and the fruits are pretty good size they're nice and smooth very crunchy when they're green that is the best stage uh, harvest them once they turn this color right here right before they they ripe because they're the most crunchy and most uh, flavorful at that stage and they produce a ton I mean uh, there, there are just so many flowers and all these flowers are starting to become fruits and so this is one of the variety that I really love because you can just eat them raw they, they have that super crunchy flavor perfect amount of heat nice texture and uh, you can also make uh, pickled peppers with them and they're just excellent so those are my five favorite variety to grow uh, they're beautiful, they produce a ton, they taste great, and uh, that's it guys. So uh, those are my five. Uh, what is your favorite peppers to grow this year? Just list it below, and I'd love to know. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.